shock and sadness tonight from advocates after a local man with Down syndrome was beaten by a sheriff's deputy. It's a story 10 News first brought you last night at 11 o'clock, new at 7. 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen explains how the Down Syndrome Association of San Diego is weighing in. You know, personally, I think that. Um, the reaction was disproportionate to the situation. Disappointed and sad are the words Jackie Hassan is using to describe her feelings after seeing our story about Antonio Martinez. 21 year old Martinez was walking to his family's bakery in Vista just before 8 on Tuesday night when he was beaten by a San Diego County Sheriff's deputy. And I think um, if there was a better understanding and awareness of people with Down syndrome, it wouldn't have escalated to this point. Her 27 year old son, Frankie, also has Down syndrome. Even he was at a loss after seeing our story. It is not okay to abuse someone like that. When we spoke with Martinez's family Wednesday, the scratches on his face and bruises on his arms were still fresh. Sheriff's Captain Joe Rohde was also there to visit the family and apologize. We made a mistake here. Captain Rohde says the deputies were looking for a man in the area possibly involved in a domestic violence dispute when they came across Martinez. It was cold outside, so Martinez covered his head with the hood of his sweatshirt, an act the deputy misinterpreted. Yeah, he pepper sprayed him. Uh, when that wasn't effective, he hit him with the baton, which put him on the ground, and then uh, a couple of more strikes to get his hands free um, so they could handcuff him. There was a communication breakdown. Hassan said there needs to be a greater level of awareness. Um, if things happen very quickly or they're bombarded and they're in a situation they're not familiar with, it can be very difficult for them to process what's occurring or if they're given instructions to understand it thoroughly. The Hassans plan to reach out to the Martinez family for support. I'm sorry it happened. And it, it, it did not happen again. In Scripps Ranch, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News. The association plans to discuss what happened in Vista at their next board meeting. They also hope to educate the sheriff's department on Down syndrome to prevent this from happening again.